Welcome to More Than a Song, where you get a chance to experience great music in an intimate concert setting. You'll also get a chance to go beyond the lyrics with the artist to get the God experience revealed in their journey. I'm Denise Graves, and on today's show, we will feature John Tibbs. He is a critically acclaimed, independent success story, having toured with the Newsboys, David Crowder and Matt Mayer. The songwriter grew up in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, and as a teen, he felt the call to music ministry. His first song today is entitled Abraham, which is inspired by the book of Exodus.
stare into that dark full cloud let fear sing its tune then hold tight on to your strong mast it will see you through so i sail into the sea to places i don't know and you with your great company John has overcome a lifelong speech impediment and is inspired by 2 Corinthians 12, 9, which states, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Recently, Terry Black sat down with this young songwriter. John, one of the great, not only are you a talented singer and songwriter, but you're so passionate about what you sing. Where, do you, where does all that passion come from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hope. Hope. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I um, um uh, like I truly intend to create songs that encourage people and point them to Jesus and mm -hmm. um, and I think you can't do that if it isn't honest. Mm -hmm. And so I hope that you know anytime people turn on this album or any song that's so obvious to them that everything I'm singing is comes out of a honest piece of me, I guess. That's real. And so that just reflects your relationship. So That's tell right. us, how did you come into relationship with Jesus? Were you yeah. raised as a Christian? Tell us a little <clears throat> bit about your beginnings. Yes. So I, let's see, I grew up in a house and, um, and um, our dad, he was always on staff at a church. So he, he was a pastor. And so I okay. gr grew up in the church. Um, I I accepted Jesus for the first time when I was six mm -hmm. at a ATM, actually. ATM. ATM, like so we. A had, machine. Yes. Oh. And, um, <laughs> we were at church and we were going to go out to eat, uh -huh. and they pulled up and they were getting cash to go out to eat, and I was asking about things I heard in mm -hmm. church, and and so I accepted Jesus at the ATM. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and. Um, and you know, I grew up in a good home, and I mm -hmm. had parents that were, that were great at teaching that God is bigger than anything. Mm. And and so I grew up in that. I would say that by the time I hit junior high, I took personal ownership mm -hmm. of everything that I was taught, mm -hmm. and I have been in it and and after him, day in and day out. Ever since. That's a, that is great, especially you know you can you can accept Jesus wherever you are, exactly. even at an ATM. At an ATM. <laughs> well, you also lived around in Western PA, yes. didn't you? Live for a time in Punxsutawney. Punxsutawney. <laughs> yes, I did. So let's see. Um, we moved there when I was just after six years old, and I had been there all the way until I had graduated high school, so eighteen. So so that was a piece of home to us and mm -hmm. and it was such a good place to be a kid the people there are so good and kind and have opened up oh, um, so it's yeah and I'm sure you probably saw Phil once in a while too absolutely <laughs> I actually held him oh you did so, yeah, so. oh my gosh let me touch your hand that's such a big deal here is yeah Punxsutawney Phil yes. and you know Groundhog Day 
<laughs> well, you are such a talent in your songwriting and your singing. Question for you. Okay. Okay. How, when did you start singing and songwriting? Yeah, so I started singing ever since I was a kid. Okay. Um, I started writing music when I was in junior high. Okay. And I wrote a lot of horrible songs, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, like, so I grew up having a difficult time uh, talking. Okay. And, um, and I had a stutter, just like that. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so I always had a hard time, and I still do have a hard time articulating everything that I'm attempting to, to articulate. And so putting yourself into a song had been such a good outlet um, um, to just say it exactly how I intended to. Right. And so it's always been important to me. I find it amazing is that when you sing, there isn't the speech impediment. Yeah, no. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I mean, how that works. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> No. And so now, as you are, you decided to continue this as a full time, right? Yes. When did you take that step of full time ministry? Yeah, about two and a half years ago, um, I was on staff at a church mm -hmm. in Indiana, and um, and I had songs that came out of that chapter and that season that were encouraging people inside our church. And it came to the point where I was like, how can I take these songs? and encourage people who don't attend church or maybe who attend other churches. And so I created a digital album, basically, and I put it on the internet. People didn't have to purchase it. They just had to enter their contact info. Um, and so we had thousands of thousands of thousands of people pick it up because so, people p picked it up and enjoyed it and passed it on to other people, passed it on to other people. And, and so out of all that, I had tens of thousands of people who had heard these songs and I had their contact info. And so I would just, email them anytime I was doing something different or if I was on tour in the area, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And out of that came a lot of opportunities um, to, to go to other churches and do these songs and encourage people. And it got to the point that I had to kind of pick and choose whether or not I was going to be on staff of the church mm -hmm. or to tour. And ooh, he just jumped into it. That's great. Um, a step of faith. Yeah, it's like... You know, at the time, I, I had been our only income, and it was like, how can you create songs and sing them and be able to eat? <laughs> <laughs> and um, and um, there is a song on the album, actually, mm -hmm. it is called Anchor. Okay. And, you know, during that whole season, this it, it had been as if Emily and I had been in a boat and heading out into the ocean. And it's like, you do not understand everything that you're going to get into. It's like there are going to be hard situations, mm -hmm. but yet you're also going to come into beautiful islands. Mm. And and the only thing that you can hold on to is that God is in a boat too, and He's mm. he, is, he is in every step. So. Oh, that is awesome. And that has to encourage you because now you've moved, fast forward, you're in Nashville. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and you are signed with the label and yes. you're touring yeah. and you have this great, great CD. Thank you. You know, I love the songs. As we said, they're so passionate and they come from a true experience that you mm -hmm. have. Right? Yes. I oh, mean, totally. that's, and your wife is Excuse with me. you too? Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And you like living in Nashville? Yeah. So we moved to Nashville about last February and it has instantly become home good. to us. So. That's good. Well, we're going to be praying for you as you go on your journey, you, proclaiming the honesty of mm -hmm. your relationship and our relationship mm -hmm. with Christ and encouraging us as we do that too. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. It's been delightful to have you here. Thank you. Correct. 
Is not a bad love is not a bond love is just as fragile as it is strong love is not hate a law of cold or creed Love will walk into your prison and set you free. To rise above it all, swim out in the deep, climb up any mountain, even when it's steep. Surrender all my weakness, give you all my faults, even when my faith is small. Love stands tall. Oh, oh, your love stands tall. Oh, oh, love is courage, and love is pain. Love will tell you to keep walking. Love is like an old Steady, sure, and strong When everything is changing Love holds on To rise
These tired bones, they can barely stand. But in the ways of the world, oh, I lay my grave. Till the darkest of night, when you call my name. Your love, your love, is set me free. Oh, no, give no shame, got a hold on me. Your love, your love, it opened my eye. I was a dead man walking till you gave me. At a price I'm told So the light of the world Just to save my soul But in the valley The shadow of the cross You'll find Oh no Brokenness for I've come Thank you for joining us for more than a song. We'd love to hear from you. Contact us at family at ctvn.org or call us for prayer and we will agree with you for God to move in your life. Until next time, keep looking for the message behind the music and listen for the new song he sings over you. I'm Denise Graves and I'll see you next week. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.